Alright guys, so we out here catfishing with Jane and River. Figured I'd come out here and do a little catfishing today. It's pretty nice. So I already got this one baited up. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this. No, I might rebait this because might need some more bait. So what we're doing is putting some shrimp on here. Like I said, we're going for catfish. I got this whole pier to myself. It's a little pier, not big at all. It doesn't even go out that far to the water. But you know, when it comes to catfish, you don't need to really be out far at all to even catch any. So, I'm gonna go ahead and toss this out real quick. some other people fishing out here but they're fishing off the bank me I'm out here fishing off of uh, the little pier but I mean you, you can catch fish over there too I'm about to put this little piece up here on this one I ain't gonna go out too far. A little holder right here. Stick that in there. So let's talk tools. What are y'all favorite tools out there? I love tools, of course, because I have a tool channel. But what are y'all favorite tools, you know? Mine's a screwdriver, which is crazy, because you would think like, all these tools out here, and you want a screwdriver? But, it's true. It's a cobalt screwdriver. It's blue. I forgot what it's called. I'm going to have to look it up for real. <clears throat> see if I can see that. Been recording for 2 minutes and 45 seconds now. Oh, there we go. I'm using light action because I like light action you can feel the fight better uh, not a little back not much they always feel heavy at first go ahead and bring him up He's eatable. Not as big as I want him to be, but it's big enough for me. So, when you get these catfish off, right, you definitely got to get them under their uh, fins because their barbs, their fins will stab you. And then you'll be needing a little a little bit of tetanus, tetanus shot. Blue catfish, James River. Go ahead and put him in the cooler. I already got three of them. So, and they're bigger than that one. So, maybe something will hop off on that one. We'll see. But you see, no cuts or anything. You know, that was, uh, that was pretty decent, I told you that. They're out here in the James right now. You know, the water's getting a little, a little warmer. So, since it's getting warmer, they've been uh, coming in here thick. This isn't up the James, this is uh, 
Newport News area of the James River. Cause you know, you go further up, it's more, it's more, more brackish brackish. Like right here, it's a mixture of salt water and fresh water, which is brackish, but you're getting more into the salt water. Cause come summertime, you'll have, you'll have crabs up in here, blue crabs and everything, spot. But yeah, you know, you gotta get away from the tools from time to time and come out here and fish. So we're gonna see what else we can catch. Let's see, can we catch another one? Just cast it out. Um yeah guys this is uh i'm gonna should give y'all a little scenery real quick for the fishing picks up again this is what it looks like out here it's very nice there's people over there on the bank fishing yeah you know it's pretty nice there's an eagle that flies by here. I don't know if that's him or not. Him or her. Whichever one. I don't know if y'all. Probably just here like a seahawk. But. Go ahead and put y'all back down here. See if we can get some more fish. I'm going to go ahead and change out this other pole. Because it doesn't seem like anything biting on it. Probably rebaited it up. Not to hit that at all. It looks like. For some reason that one, I think I need to change the hook. 